I'm Terry from Love That Olive in Maple Grove, and we are here to create a new wonderful appetizer. This is Carrie. She's a cheesemonger, so she has been creating wonderful little appetizers that you might not think about. And this is almost a dessert, wouldn't you yeah, say? Yeah, yeah. Right. Do, you could do it as an appetizer, but I even as a dessert That's a great that we're doing course, it. Yeah. Exactly. So what are we doing? What is the name? This is blue cheese ginger pens. Oh, So gosh. it's a really unique combination and it works. Oh. <laughs> and we're going to be adding a, a chocolate cabernet right. wine sauce to it and a cranberry balsamic. So talk about rich. It is. Oh. This is a great one for like we were just talking about coming yeah. in from sledding or whatever and you come in you want a hot chocolate, have a little bit of this with it. Yes. Um, after dinner with some pork. Yes. Be delicious. Or a nice warm little bay leaves yeah. or bay leaves on the ice on the rocks whatever you'd like to do and be wonderful well show us how we do it sure we're starting with ginger thins and these are a little bit different than ginger snaps they are very very thin they don't have quite as much spice I yeah say. yeah i um, would say that too and they're um, perfect to make an appetizer or a dessert on yes absolutely uh i'm using a creamy blue cheese you want to be able to spread it on there and today so i selected point Reyes blue it's out of point Reyes, california is that a little softer on the blue cheese? Or it is, it yeah. Okay. Especially at room temperature, you need to bring anything up to room temperature. Yeah. You could do a gorgonzola dolce, but I like this one because it actually is kind of a sweet blue cheese already. Okay. So we just uh, spread it on the ginger thin. Mm -hmm. We're right. topping it with some of its friends out in the Pacific Northwest, some toasted hazelnuts. Oh, yum. And some chopped dried cherries. Oh, I love dried cherries. And put that on the plate. And a few more that's already made up. Right. And once they're on the plate, then we will douse them with a little bit of the chocolate, the chocolate cabernet sauce. Oh, they look so pretty. And a drizzle of the... And I know they're good because you had us try them ahead of time. <laughs> well, we... actually, you didn't have us try them. You... I kind of stole one. So... <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't go I couldn't cold. wait. I, I, oh, to be truthful. And this is the little bit of a wine cabernet sauce that is chocolate. It's absolutely wonderful. We have an amaretto at the store too that works. And it's from upstate New York in the Finger Lakes region is where it's made. Oh, so we have two coats it's going wonderful. on here. We do. And you can leave it with just the chocolate or if you want to add one even richer, this would bring it even, would you say a little more sweet to it? Yeah, I think because, Tanginess yeah, the sweetness. It's um, our cranberry balsamic, which is, oh, it's so good. And you can just serve them. And they're easy to make, which they is are. really nice. And it's a little bit of a surprise to people. Yes. <laughs> they are definitely not going to think this is what a dessert. No, you and explain it to it. them and they're not going to want it. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if I am one who likes to have cheeses at the end of the meal. Yes. As a little bit of a dessert. I think that's really fun and a different time to have. It. Right. You know, so. Serve it with some dried fruit and yeah, yes. it's a perfect course. Oh, fantastic. What a great idea. And this is perfect for the holidays, but I'd say all through fall, and the winter season you can use this one it'd be really great remember to check out lovethatolive.com our website to see great recipes and other ideas that we have and check out our facebook page love that olive there's always all kinds of recipes and ideas there so be sure to follow us and like us